You cannot unlame a lame. The money won't change the lame in you. You know what I'm saying? You either got it or you we're, don't. We're having this conversation. So with uh, all the dating sites, they say that the women choose like 20% of the men on the dating sites. We're talking to like 20% of men. 80% of men are sitting there wondering, how can I get one broad? Yeah, see, that. you know what? You just, you just put me onto some game. I forgot. We ain't got to worry about the 20%. Like y'all, some so, some of this education y'all need, cause y'all just need to stop being Jodies. You know what I'm saying? If y'all know what, I'm, what I mean. But the eighty percent of motherfuckers that can't get no pussy, and that you just lame, you need to get some education, man. You need to con go on ahead and tune on in. For the for the whole history of the world, the average girl, uh, we'll call her Stacy. She went and got with the average guy who worked at the at the plant. His name was Herman. You gave them a telephone, and now every average broad has access to the nigga that she wants to smash. And he's like, eh, it's a Tuesday. It's 2 a.m. Why not? Uh, it's a Wednesday. It's 3 a.m. Why not? And so all these average women are seeking the same six-foot-tall, six-figure, six-inch dick nigga, and they all getting piped down, thinking that, thinking that the girlfriend or the side chick, they don't even care because a woman would rather be with a strong man than a weak man. Are they wrong for that? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they wrong for that. No. Like, like, I think, look, at the end, we learned this in science class. It's, it's the survival of the fittest. You know, like, whoever can will and whoever can't won't. And that's just really how it goes at the end of the day. Um, That's not even like a, hey, I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8", 215. You know what I'm saying? Um, Never had a problem having women. Like, I, I could say in over 20 years... It, Every, every every year up until my wife, who I'm with now, who I love, and that's the first time I've been monogamous. But like before then, I always had a two three girl rotation, um, because it's in me. Like the way I the way I carry myself, the way the way I am as a man, the way I was raised as a man. The only time I ever had any problems with a woman is when I tried to be monogamous. As long really? as long as long as wow. I was doing my thing, <laughs> wow. she knew what her place was. Hey. And then when I stopped doing my thing, she was like, "Oh, he took a step back. He heard my thoughts and feelings. I have some power." My wife now <laughs> is just amazingly special because I never thought it was even reasonable for me to be monogamous. She just a gift from God because other than that, for me personally, I was just like, I'll spend the rest of my life with multiples of these bitches. Like it just it that's just how I was thinking. But I say that to say this, like a lot of this shit that me and be complaining about online, I ain't experienced it. I just never had issues with women, even black women. I get on y'all ass, but black women have been awesome to me. I've never had like black women, whether it's been in my career, whether it's really even in relationship, you know, it black women have not done me wrong at all. Um, And so a lot of the things that I hear these guys complaining about and be that they're angry with women about, I just haven't experienced it. It's about your batting average, man. You, like you can only be as good as how much you practice. If you ain't getting no stroke, no, no swings in, then your game is all thrown off. And I understand that. A lot of men, they they're gonna be virgins till they thirty. Like that's hard right now out here. 